and I hope you don't mind me saying, that I would describe my years at Lighthouse as a church that was a flag-waving, shofar-blowing, demon-busting church. Woo! Come on! Yeah! Yeah, Matt told me, he said, That's, we love that. And so I grew up, I thought it was normal to me, you know. I mean, we were literally ripping out demons every Sunday morning on altar call. It was wild stuff. And then I come along as the senior, new senior pastor, served my own pastor, who, by the way, was my father-in-law. little tip for anybody. If you don't have any anointing or gifting, marry the pastor's daughter. <laughs> Hang around long enough. Hang around long I'm just saying. Hang around long enough, they give you the church. That's what happened to me. Marry the pastor's daughter. And for me, it was kind of normal growing up in that atmosphere. But to be honest, it got pretty weird sometimes. And it was hard to bring my non-Christian friends. But I got baptised in the Holy Spirit when I was 13. And I know how everybody, you know, the experience is that we can pray in tongues. Or sing, but I can tell you something. At 13 years of age, something happened to me. From that day on, I have an overwhelming passion to see people come to Christ. Come on. Woo! I've, I've been through burnouts and tired and exhausted, but I have never lost my passion. Because here's, my, here's one of my passions, that I want to bring dignity to every person I meet. Yeah. 